Wow. All right. So we have 20 hours of camera. You know, uh, listen. I mean, it was. It really was passion from the beginning, and and it all started from you know the character of Nimona. I mean, it's not just the title. It's it's also the the lightning rod that drew everybody to this project. This character who's you know fun and unapologetic and in your face um, and funny but at the same time is just looking to be seen, right? It just wants people to get to know who they are. And everything from the rest of the movie just sprung from that, whether it was the world building, whether it was the casting, whether it was our storytelling. Uh, the graphic novel is so expansive, has so many different avenues to go down, but we knew if we focused on that and that journey, we knew how to call around that and really keep the focus on, on where it needed to be, which is Nimona, this character who represents sort of uh, anybody who's felt misunderstood or, or, or different or felt othered in any situation. And as we were building that and having conversations with you know people around the studio, we realized how universal that idea was. Like no matter how different each person's unique individual experiences were, they saw an aspect of that in themselves. And it sounds very artsy fartsy, but you start to realize that, you know, as different as we all are and individual as we all are, we we're really not that different. There's a lot of shared experiences we have just as, as human beings. Riz and Chloe are, are amazing. Like, they're great actors. They are very funny people. <laughs> uh, they're amazing people to play with, too, in a room. Like, we, we had so much fun just breathing life and soul into these characters in, in a way that, you know, we haven't always been able to have. Like, they, they cared so much, not just about the characters, but who they represented in the themes of this movie that they were just so giving uh, in both their time and their hearts. Uh, couldn't ask for a better cast. We honestly, what we say is just watch it together. Sit down and watch it together as a family um, or as a, as a group and, and see what's there. Because really, this is a, a story that we really crafted to, to be appealing to, to everybody. It's funny, it's exciting, it's adventure, um, and really it's, it's got a message as just get to know people, right? That's what we want people to walk away with. So we would say that same message goes for the movie. Just get to know it, see it for what it is, see that it's not a scary thing. Uh, you know, we're not trying to cram messages down anybody's throat. We just want to entertain and, and represent and reflect the world we see around us and allow for people to be seen for who they are. And that goes for anybody and any experience. The best day is when, and it's also the worst day, is when, <laughs> is when you're really <laughs> struggling with how do you get this idea to come across in a way that feels both entertaining and honest, uh, but when you solve it, that is that like so the, that's the struggle. But when you solve it and everyone's laughing and everyone's feeling something in the room, like that, that's the best. That's the greatest feeling. Yeah. When you feel those things click. Yeah, and and I, I just had this specifically one example of that was putting the reels up and going, we found the movie. We know what this movie is, which was the best day, and then. Uh, knowing you were going to share it in, you know, on a Thursday and getting news that your studio is closing down on a Tuesday and your, and your movie's not going to go anywhere and you're, you're dead in the water. That, that was a pretty bad day. But then feeling the love and the passion, the support for that, what you all created together, like buoy that and lift it up and, and bring it back to life, another pretty, pretty great day.